Man, what's good, YouTube, man? It's your boy, the Assassin Q Anderson, man. And today, man, we finna get started with uh, the uh, My Rise. So, yeah, this is my first time playing uh, My Rise. Uh, I don't know. I, I have to fix my audio, so if it's, like, laggy and stuff, I'm uh, I'm gonna fix it. But, yeah, man, I want all that... Uh, you know, great things for this game, man. You know, I watched a little bit of uh, My Rise episodes from Chris Danger, Brandon Collins, Phoenix Nitro, and Aaron Matthews. Look very fun. So, man, let's see what this shit like, man. Hopefully, I hope that everything, I, I hope the audio and stuff from the game is, like, all synced up because I know it's kind of out of sync in my ear. But yeah, man, let's see what we get into. So this is it. Day one of training at the that boy trying to be like me, bro. Be a vlogger. Look, you see the hair, man. Heard I was and they'd be off home. This is yeah, man, I got my hair braided, man. Way my journey ends here. I'm going to WWE and then straight to the top where I make sure that... What are you doing? You're an hour and a half early for your orientation. I was just... She look old, but then she look young. How did you even get in here? Guy up front, let me know. Oh, big guy with the mustache? Kind of sweaty? Yep. Well, that's Todd's final strike. Hope he enjoys early retirement. Man, why she hang on Todd like that, man? I'm going to blame him. I tried showing him my ID, but he said it wasn't necessary. And then he told me to walk right in. I mean... I get that I look like I belong here, but the guy's clearly not cut out for the job. He's not. He's a bot. Thanks for your input. Anyway, you're going to need to fill out your information. He's a bot. Todd's a bot. I'm sorry to tell you, but he's a bot. And when you're done with all that, in the words of Solo Manati, he's a bot. You get to design your wrestling gear in case you become a WWE superstar. You mean when I become a WWE superstar? Yeah, don't ever disrespect me like that, Father Poppy. You pee pee. Filming this entire time? Is that a problem? Filming's not allowed in here without prior consent, which you should have been told by security. Freaking Todd. Shut up. Piggy piggy. I have to smack you. Okay, let's see. You got MMA, pro athlete, indie, an actor. Okay. Tommaso Ciampa, Kevin Owens, Drew Gulak, Roman Reigns, I don't know, pro athlete. Amy <laughs> Mato. I think I'm gonna do indie, man. Alright, finally, I'm done now. It takes time to design a look like that. Eh, I've seen worse. I'll so put you in your lip, girl. Go wait at the front desk with you until it's time to start. Front desk. What do you think I do here? I'm Corey Klein, head recruiter and occasional babysitter of people who don't follow instructions and show up way early. Guess what? I don't know who you are, honey. That Corey. I don't care who you are. I just saw your name and assumed that. You know what? It's nice to meet you in person finally. Go get changed. Then head over to the gym. The other trainees who started last week should be showing up soon. And to clear up any potential confusion on your end, they are men. Got it. Thanks. Do, hey, I don't care. Don't talk to me like that. War. Mega, mega. I am, I am, I am, I am, I am, I am, I am. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. My rise, uh, 
this is the my rise hub you can discover new storyline opportunities from here by talking to people within this hub or by replying to posts and direct messages in your social media feed social media feed okay 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 interesting 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 800 fans okay who are you hector hey, new guy right i'm hector flores welcome to the pc don't call me new guy or rookie or any other kind of thing. don't do that don't do that cuz i have to let me get let me get let me get okay suit yourself and you're right i've only been here a week but i've been doing this since i was a kid in may which is a lot longer than you so your dad or uncle will arrest you or something you're not in Mexico no more, buddy. You in the and I got got it, and I got myself here. And I got myself to some of the top indie promotions in the world, and now here. What's your point? I wasn't saying you didn't, unless your old trainer Booker T pulled some strings. Uh, my point is, you can either learn from people or be stubborn and fall flat on your face. I don't appreciate you saying Booker got me here. No one at his school was on my level, and from what I've seen so far, I don't think that's going to be any different here. It's not. So you can save your advice for someone else. I have a feeling you're in for a rude awakening. Maybe we'll have to put my theory to the test in the ring. Yeah, maybe. Hector. Hecky third. Don't get hurt now. Paragon, who are you? Hey, who are you? Hey, who are you? It's my first day training here. Who are you? Seriously? Have you not been watching Japanese wrestling for the past six years? I'm Paragon J. I don't give a damn who you are. Bigger, actually. I actually know who you are. But no. I'm gonna punch you in your lip. How about that? You remind me of a lot of the guys I faced on the indie circuit. All talk. Luckily for them, they don't have to face me anymore. Unfortunately, you do. Yeah. Say that. Stage, Say that. Like you've never experienced before. You're in my arena now, rookie. And when I'm done with you, you're gonna wish you stayed in your lane. We'll see. Yeah, condescending bastard. I'ma punch you. I'ma punch on you, homie. Who are you? I heard you were starting today. Big fan. Are you a referee here or No man? I'm training to be a wrestler. You and I have actually appeared on the same indie show in Memphis before. Really? Good with faces, and I don't remember yours. Well, that's because you couldn't see my face. I was a mascot named Ribby. <laughs> Ribby. Yeah, the Memphis Minor League Baseball shows. I think I saw you win a dance off. That was me. The best part of the job was getting to rub elbows with legends like Jerry. The Ribby. I owe you an ass, Ben. I was training on the side as a wrestler. Ribby. Honestly, bro, when I was playing the the 2K21, oh, I started down with late. Honestly, I ain't gonna lie. Like, I started that one late, but WWE 2K20 was born. We coming off hot. I'm going to 
any of y'all. I'm going to hurt you, Ribby. Hey, Booker. Hey, no offense. Get out my DMs, brother. No! What did I just select? Damn it. Yo, I just selected something I didn't even make. Ah, oh, damn it. I don't even know what I just selected, man. Damn. Oh, it's hot, bro. Okay. I'd like to officially welcome our newest recruit to the start of his WWE journey. The rest of you have heard this speech already, so we'll try to make it quick. On our first day, he did the whole ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages thing. It was awesome. We'll do the talking, Chase. I was just telling him about your cool DX intro you did. Chase, what Road Dog was getting at is we are going to give you the foundation to succeed in WWE. What you do with it is up to you. Keep in mind. You will be judged at all times. The big man in the sky is always watching. Not that big man. There's a camera up there with a live feed that goes directly to Triple H's office in Stanford. The coaches and PC staff certainly have input, but ultimately, he'll decide when the time's right to bring the GM from NXT, Raw, and SmackDown here so you can showcase your talents. I'm ready for that now. Yeah. We know you think that, but it's not your call, big shot. Okay, now that all that's out of the way, we're gonna start with some one-on-one -on -one matches to see where everyone's at. All right, new guy, since it's your first day, we'll let you choose who you wanna face. Okay, let's get started. Let's get started. Twice in this ring, boy. Get in this ring. I'm about to beat you. Parrot dumbass. I'm about to beat you, boy. I'm about to beat you, boy. I'm about to hurt you, boy. I'm gonna leave my man's ribby alone. But all you ass with the two my boy. Who is you, boy? Show me something. Show me something. Show me something. Show me something. Show me something, homie. Show me something, homie. What's up? Show me something. Show me something. Okay. What are you showing me? Thought you could hang with the top. What happened? Thought you was in Japan. Headline and everything. Look, looks like to me you're on the ground right now, homie. When I advance more in, I'm going to change the difficulty, but till then, I'm on normal, because I don't really, like, I don't know all the uh, combinations and stuff. Get up, nigga. Get up. What's up? Get up.
Nah, bro. Oh, what happened? What's up? What's up? What's up? That boot to the face. Get off me. Get off me. Get off me. Get off me. Oh. Yo. He just punched me. Yo, what's going on? Little dunny, now you on YouTube. Oh, okay. 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 Oh, okay, R2X. Okay. Ah! Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Paragon, you're nothing. You're nothing. Paragon, don't you ever disrespect me. Paragon, you're nothing, homie. Nothing. What you won't. Before you say anything, do you really think you just got everything I had? Obvious I shouldn't be here. So I'm not gonna give a hundred percent in a training match against a nobody. Cool. Is that what you're gonna tell Triple H? Because he'd probably want an explanation for why the hottest free agent signings in AJ Styles just lost to a Nobody. Triple H wasn't watching our match. The coaches just say that. You think so? Because I'm pretty sure after I beat you, I looked up at the camera and saw it zooming in on me. Probably Triple H wondering who this rookie was who just showed him they're wasting a crap ton of money on an overhyped bust. Face me when it really counts, and we'll see. Here's the thing. I think it already did, and we saw what happened. But I'm happy to give Triple H a replay anytime. Haha, <laughs> talk your shit, yeah, nigga. That's what we do, homie. Paragon, you're nothing. You're done. Let me upgrade this guy. I want to see what the upgrades and stuff looking like. Okay. Social media.
finish the hit, man, baby. Let's face the hit man, baby. We facing the hit man, baby. Let me the party real quick, man. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the Assassins. From San Francisco, California, weighing in at 265 pounds, the Dragon Q Anderson. The Dragon is he. The he crossed paths with some future WWE superstars, but he must know this is a completely different animal. The Dragon. And he's on a different level now, but the only way to prove that is by stringing victories together. The Dragon has arrived. This superstar is coming in with a lot of enthusiasm and energy right now. What's going to happen when the excitement wears off and he comes to realize he's in a fight against someone looking to take his head off? All I can say is we've seen adrenaline take this superstar very far in the past. We've got Canada's favorite son on the other side. There's no question Hart's an elite strategist, but will the hitman be able to carry out his plan as he devised oh. it? Or is he going to have to make adjustments during the course of the match? I seriously doubt What's up? Is having any feelings What's up? of distress, Corey. What's up? Oh, yeah. Versatile, that I like that. What's up? Is nature What's up? I fuck with your hit, man. I fuck with your hit, man. I fuck with your hit, man. Oh, a nasty stomp to finish it off. Hart is being stifled in this one. Lift off. Diving foot stomp. Brutal. Hart takes a blow, and he had to know this thing could turn into a shootout. Well measured. From the top. Double foot stomp. This is squash match. I ain't gonna lie. I'm not to show you, Bret Hart. I'm not to be messed with. Sister, look at these of I'm not to be messed with, Bret Hart. I'm not to be messed with, Bret Hart. I'm not to be messed with, Bret Hart. Oh, he reversed it. Bret finally creates some more offense for himself. Bret could be turning his fortunes around. And this match will head back to the rank. I'm not to be, bro, I'm not to be, I'm not to be messed with, Brett. Oh, kick connects. Sorry. Oh. He saw that one coming. Watch out. Oh, and he pulls off. Not to be messed with, Brett Hart. I'm sorry. Retaliation from the hitman. Looking wobbly in the corner. Yeah. Able to reverse. This is My fault, Bret Hart. I just broke the old ass in half. Oh, oh come on, run. yo. He just no sell the spear. Yo, I have a lot. For the next episode, I gotta get my moves right. But not on this occasion. Might be time to think outside the box. Now the midsection. I go lie. I go lie. I like the combos in this game better. I don't know. I still need help. I go lie. I still need help, like learning like the other reversal system. But I go lie. I like this better. He takes control. Listen to me. What Dot likes to say, crack the door. Dragging me. Dragging me, pushing me. Sleep. Dragging me, pushing me. Sleep. Here is your winner, the Dragon. Q. Anderson. 
What an emphatic victory, guys. No contest. Never a doubt. Barely a moment's suspense. This one was about as lopsided as they come. The Dragon gets the victory. A two, oh, uh, a two on one? Who, who we fighting? Who we gotta beat now, man? No, I ain't gonna let it raise fire. The Dragon! The following contest we is rock. a handicap match. Making his way to the ring, representing the Assassins from San Francisco, California, weighing in at 265 pounds, the Dragon Q The Dragon Q. Guys, and the caliber of competition here is Spartan. Let's see who we fight. Who we fighting? The Rock? Listen, this is pure electricity. I feel like the entire arena is shaking right now. It's all thanks to the unmatched power. Stone Cold Steve Austin? Nah, what is this? Fighting the Rock and Stone Cold? Thinking you've got a chance to beat not one, but multiple WWE superstars speaks to a little bit of ego, doesn't it? A uh, little bit? No, it speaks of a lot of ego. As big as this we arena. We both in the same city. Well, an upset. What a notch in your belt. Uh, get out. Hey, Mike, you show me a WWE get superstar out. with no ego, I'll give you a uh, Come on. Have a good point. Yo, who's going to know? Oh, right to the side of the face. Yo. He gets set Yo. The floor. What's up, Rocky? What's up, homie? He has the answer for the Rock. Here's a combo of strikes. Knee right to the face. Rock says that was coming. Oh, he turns okay. it around. Oh. Counters that. Four. Five. Rolling elbow right on the mark. Shut up. The thing is nitro. He called that the crack the dome. Looking good here. Cold. What now? Oh, not to the belly! The Rock hoping to head this 
nice attack off of the pass. An unfamiliar spot for the great one. Y'all can't get him off the apron. Climbing to the top rope. Right. From the top. Get off the apron. Get yo. Stone Cold reverses. Austin is gonna look to press on the advantage. The rattlesnake got played around with for too long. Now he wants to open a can. Dragon knee. That puts him in total control. Cover. One, two, three. Dragon knee puts him to sleep. Cementing their name after that match. Definitely earning those accolades with that win. I'll hang my hat on the win of that caliber any day of the week. This is one to be proud of. The Dragon. Back to the PC, man. Back to the PC, man. Man, this the end of episode one, man. It's crazy, I ain't gonna lie. This game is a lot of fun, man. Episode two, man. I'm gonna have my moves head right. I'm gonna try to understand the reversal system a little more. And hopefully, in the next, like, three or four episodes, I'm gonna up the difficulty. You know, I'm gonna up, I'm gonna up it one by one. I'm not gonna just go straight to legend. Because, yeah, I ain't that good at the game. I'm not that good. But yeah, man. But yeah, man. See you on the next video. Peace.